So we are out here getting prepared for the farmer's market. It started in another couple of hours, but I want to show you guys something here. We had a pipe burst. It's that pipe right there. So we getting it fixed, have some plumbers out here getting it ready to go. But this is not the main thing that I wanted to show you guys. But the reason that I show you guys that is because just to show you, it's not all glamorous owning your own building. You have to always reserve a certain amount of your money strictly for maintenance. And that's the mistake that a lot of people make with real estate. They think about all the money that they will get if they charge a tenant, but you have to allocate a certain amount of money back for repairs and maintenance always because that pipe happened yesterday. But this is really what I want to show you guys. Look at our brand new sign, 12-4 Bakery and Coffee. And Ashlyn is in there setting up right now. We're so excited about this sign. It looks really, really good. Let me give you the other view from the other angle. That's the food truck over there. And that is the sign. It looks really, really good. The feather flag is sitting over there on the fountain. We're going to throw that away, but we loving it. Getting ready for the market. Getting ready to bless people with these backpacks. Getting ready to serve our community. Hello, everyone. We're going to have three backpacks. Alrighty, we just got home from the market a few minutes ago. Let me show y'all what we got. First, we have some raw, local, unfiltered honey, as well as a honey dispenser. This is super cute, and I'm very excited about it. We got some sweets. This is a cookies and cream cake and a cinnamon roll cookie. Now tell me why this man bought five slices of cake. He said that they were really good and they were worth it. They were $2 a piece, so he's excited and I'm hoping he shares because that's a lot. But we have chocolate and vanilla. So we had a great day at our backpack giveaway at our farmer's market. It was very cool, very exciting. So after the market, we decided to go to the mall and pick up Ashland's new wedding band. So the band is, which one? That one. <laughs> oh, I'm my finger. So this is the new <laughs> that is the new wedding band and so it's pretty cool. Let's zoom in on it. Look at it. Now respect it. <laughs> so we're gonna call it a night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, I am up this beautiful Sunday morning and I am cooking for the church. In the oven I have some sausage links. And over here I've got some pancakes. We got them all loaded up into the warmer. Want the third one too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we are heading to church. No way to do it.
believe. If I don't believe that it's possible, I won't strive for it. Right. If I believe it's not attainable, I won't reach for it. So what people do when they don't believe, they project their unbelief on you. And they make you feel like you crazy because you feel like you can have it. And they say stuff like this. Because I used to say that. I don't need all that. I don't want all that. Isn't that you don't need all that or you don't think God can do that?